my bills how am i going to pay all my you know pay my meet up with my direct debit how am i going to uh support my family back home in africa how how am i going to be supporting my family how oh, i'm finished i'm finished i'm finished i don't know how i'm going to hello go. hello 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 great souls out there how are you doing today i hope you're doing amazing yes as you can see i'm doing really great i'm doing awesome yes i am here to share with you my experience how i felt um when i lost my job you know it wasn't an easy feeling it was the feeling was so emotional to me like you know i wasn't expecting it you know so it just happened to me as a shock and i i cried i cried deeply when i lost my you know when i was told that uh you know my job is finished i was like really just like that so let's go into the gist <laughs> so i got job i got this job on my birthday last year 20 uh 28 september um last year okay and that was my birthday and i was so happy i was thinking god oh my god you use this job to um to do is you know to you know i was like god thank you because this job is a birthday gift from god to me because i've been searching for jobs and you know for a long time you know here in europe here uh, you know in uk because of the lockdown and everything is very hard to get job at this point to get job this you know uh this period of hardship and everything uh you know loads of companies are, cl are shut down are closed and you know so so many sh there is no it's hard to get job in fact so when i got that job last year september i was so happy i was jubilating you know thanking god you know i was so happy i shared this testimony with so many of my friends and you know so and yeah so everybody everyone was so happy with me and you know to the most exciting part of it is that you know i started feeling good like now that i have a job you know i have family back home that i'm supporting those that i'm supporting and i was like oh my god thank god this job has come in time I can be able to support my family back home. I can be able to support with bills in my family, in my home. I can be able to, you know, get these things that I need for myself without bothering my <laughs> my husband, you know. I was like, oh, I'm going to be supporting my husband, you know, you know, supporting the children as well when it you know in the um financial uh, aspect of it aspect of life yes so uh, i was so happy and behold that happiness did not last <laughs> you know so i'm sharing this not for you to pity me not for you to you know tell me sorry no i'm sharing this because i have come out of it all right i'm sharing this to be uh just to encourage so many people out there that maybe you just lost your job right now and maybe it could it, to you it could not it could be anything it could be maybe you lost your loved ones or you lost something dear to you you lost something that you are not expecting to lose in your life you know I, you are in that moment where i was few months ago you know so i'm sharing this to uplift you to also let you know that you are not alone okay there are some people out there that are passing through that difficult time that you are in right now but by the grace of god they have come out of it okay so i got that job september and 
to you know the worst part was like the time i i i was you know sack from that job december the 19th december you know december now you know you are expecting money you want to buy this you want to you, i've already you know listed the things that i will use i'll be buying with money and how i'm going to be you know give money to my people back in africa i'm going to show love to so many people buy christmas gifts and all of that all of a sudden my my this thing was terminated my contract was terminated okay so it started this way i was working one day and my money you know i was working and i fell sick during that period i fell sick and i went to the hospital coming back um because with that job you have to meet some certain um within three months you have to meet up with uh, your provision you know so because of that hospital i went to i was feeling very sick that period and uh you know so me coming back to to work and um you know it was like you know my meet up like my my distant points kind of go down okay so when i now came back starting again and all of you know recovering start going back to to work and all of that you know so my my this thing was to be uh to be 70 percent that's the limit they want you to have your your this thing what is it called again um your target yes so the target they give me is 70 percent but the target which i got was like 60 i think 66 percent that was what i got and you know so one day my manager came to me and said you know what this job is too hard for you i said why he says because you're a woman that this job is not for women that the job is for men i was thinking in my head like seriously how can you walk up to a lady how can you walk up to a woman and tell her in her face that you know she's not capable of doing the job that the job is for men that the job is for women i've seen this job and i know that i can do the job so why are you now telling me that the 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 job is for men you know that kind of uh uh you know make me to think like seriously so is this how some men you know va you know see women so they see that a woman cannot do there are certain jobs that a woman cannot do that is only men that can do that job you know i was like you know as a as your manager so you just have to I was like really you know so he was telling me that you know pointing to me the kind of job i should be doing and i said like seriously in my heart you know so i wasn't i was not able to tell him what i'm feeling inside my heart i left you know so on that first food day he said oh we have meeting and all of that i came in he said i'm sorry but you did not meet up with your target i said what target he told me uh, the target is 70 percent but i'm getting 66 percent okay so i now say okay um if you can give me the weeks that i went to the hospital the weeks that i was sick um back i can use it to meet up with my you know to meet up with 70 percent i know i'm capable i know i can do this he says no 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 i can't do that i can't give you that opportunity that if he give me that opportunity that means he will give me contract um you know immediately you know so you know i felt really bad you know i didn't even finish the the work i went to like 
I didn't finish the the hours for that day I went the worst part of it is that like you know sometimes when you lose your job and you are expecting them to pay you the next month so that you can at least use that one to cool off the money to cool off you know you know the worst part was like next month which is uh, january i was expecting them to pay me nothing they didn't pay me anything you know february they didn't pay me anything i was like really what's going what's really going on you know so that was when i called uh my manager i said what's going on you guys did not pay me anything the, the ones that i did before you sacked me he said to me uh that they don't i don't have anything they don't have anything to pay me that uh my my work have um that they the previous pay they paid me that they paid me excess ha! that one really touched my heart i was like really oh my god did i even tell you to pay me excess in the first place you know so the way they calculated it so they didn't pay me anything i was just like that you know so i'm sharing um sorry i'm sharing this with you right now to let you know that uh you know even without job i don't know whatever you lose whatever you have lost that is making you feel down that is making you feel um feel sad feel low i want to let you know that um you know just be strong i just want to encourage you to be strong knowing that god will always make a way for you when there seems to be no way okay so that happened it was really so hard for me but i thank god i was able to overcome that situation i was i took break that's why that was one of the things <laughs> that made me to take break out of uh, youtube for a long time for a couple of for a month and uh, and a week or two weeks i don't know yeah in that yeah so you are not alone okay be strong god know how to sustain his children god knows how to you know provide for you since then that i lost my job i'm still here god has been faithful god has been uh providing for me and my family so i just want to say just calm down you'll be fine okay calm down you'll be fine you are not alone so i say let me share with you i hope this really blessed you and you know in a positive way stay tuned keep on being positive bye